Hey everybody, today's design challenge is all about architecture and building. Today we are going to build something to help save our stuffed animals. Ah. Ready? Here we go. Our design challenge is this. The ground is now lava. So our stuffed animals cannot be on the table. They can't be on the floor. They need to be lifted up somehow. Architects think about all different kinds of ways to build buildings and structures for the safety of their people, um, to make things easier, simpler, more effective and efficient for their people. So you are going to be putting on your architect cap and thinking about how we can save our stuffed animals and keep them comfy and safe and away from the lava that's on the ground. So your challenge today is to build them a chair or a stool or a table, something to lift them up off the ground. Here's part of the challenge. It needs, they need to be sitting at least six inches off the ground, at least six inches. If you have a ruler so that you can measure your six inches, that's pretty good. Um, if you have a measuring tape or anything like that, if not, you could use your shoe and stand up tall and that could be um, your, your distance for keeping things off the ground. The only thing is we can't let them sit on the ground or too close to the ground because it'll be too hot and our stuffed animals will melt. So your challenge is to build them something to sit upon that's more than six inches off the ground. Here are the things that you can use and you can only use these four things. You can use masking tape or duct tape, packing tape, any kind of tape that you have. You can use grocery bags, plastic bags, if you want. You can use paper towel rolls and toilet paper tubes if you want, as many of those as you'd like. And you may use cardboard. Now, you can use all four of these items or you can just use one. It's up to you, but you cannot use any more, anything outside of these four items. I wanna see how many of your stuffed animals can you fit on the stool without them falling off or falling over. So think about, does your chair need to have a back? Does it need to have sides that go all the way around? How are you going to creatively problem solve this problem of keeping our stuffed animals out of the lava? Are you ready to get started? I'm gonna build mine. You can build yours however you want. This might help give you some ideas. These are challenges that I've done before and had a really fun time solving, but I have different stuffed animals now. This is my black squirrel um, from my college town and my unicorn from my sweet student, Micaiah. I miss you if you're watching, Micaiah. Um, you ready? Let's build. All right, boys and girls, here's the test to see if it holds up my stuffed animals out of the lava. I used some paper towel tubes to make the legs and I taped them on and then I used my cardboard and made a backboard. And the reason I put this bag here was to give my stuffed animals a nice little soft cushion to sit on now. Let's see if it stands up. my Bob Ross on here too. So now if you want, you can take your stuffed animals off and decorate it, make it cute and cool and cozy and awesome for your stuffed animals. I would love to see um, how you guys beat this architectural design challenge. I miss you guys so much. I hope you have an awesome spring break. Next week, I'll be back with more art videos on the 20th. Um, I'm gonna do some over spring break for you guys. I'm excited to bring out more stuff. If you have something that you really wanna see me do, shoot me an email, um, it's on the weekly schedule that your teacher should have shared with you that I made um, a couple of weeks ago. I love you. Have a great break. I'll see you later. Bye.